right we are we are well, we are now doing uh, what we as we actually started last time we had to look at the overview of uh, what international trade and finance is all about and then uh, today we want to look at the uh, world of international trade in form of globalization so we look at the world of international trade and globalization first time when we met uh, we act, actually um, uh, introduced the concept of international trade and finance but I actually said that international trade we are looking at buying and selling but now this is in form of import and export but now it's globally worldwide and the finance part we actually discussed that it's uh, more or less like the money markets and the, the, their derivatives but now this again is happening globally today we wanted to look at another area uh, and this area is about globalization we'll be looking at the uh, globalization and again we'll look at other areas uh, like factors that can that affect uh, this international trade we we'll look at um, um, other factors but now we are starting with the globalization now if you are to define globalization the way the globalization globalization Glo globalization the way the globalization refers to as uh, um, uh, something to do with the worldwide global it means that it's a worldwide and the fact that we are looking at international trade, we are looking at this international trade in form of uh, worldwide. Uh, so, by definition, if we are to define, if someone asks, asks you what is the uh, globalization, globalization is just a, is a trend towards uh, greater economic cultural, political, and economical or all technological um, interferences among national institutions and the um, economies. So we are looking at this globalization as just something to do with the, uh, a trend, a trend that is happening uh, worldwide. And this trend is in form of the economic the econo economic, cultural, we have got uh, political, technological, as all those aspects of which they are happening across um, with, uh, across the borders or across the borders with uh, I with the issue of uh, institutions and uh, again economies. So globalization simply means we are looking at it as the way. Um, Culture is being is being looked at the way technology is being um, looked at, but now this is global. Now, when when we are looking at the person, this globalization, globalization. I, I mean, globalization again. It has an impact in, on on markets. So we are looking at globalization on markets. Now, when you look at globalization on market, it's just this is just uh, it refers to. Uh, convergences of buyers uh, preferences in several markets but now this is worldwide how this these buyers and the sellers the, how they converge uh, worldwide that's what is called the globalization of markets so the globalization of markets again it's uh, the way that they image there is a trend that's why when we are looking at this we can't talk about globalization but we have to put that element of uh, import and, and and exports. In other words, we have what are called global products that can be either imported or can be exported. Now, if you are to look at, if, I'm, if, if you are to define what are these global global products, global products are those products when you have got my products that are uh, products that can be uh, marketed in all countries 
those that can be marketed in all countries and then we are looking at that as uh, global or global products so we can i can give you an example of these global products such as like uh, computers like this is the 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 ipod the the, the this the, the the ipad the ipads and the ipods all these that i mean of which people globally they like they like using them that's what is called global products uh, global products and global competitors competition competitors they can be characterized by many countries if you look at these global products they can be characterized according to the preferences of um, individuals worldwide therefore what is manufactured in Malawi cannot be manufactured outside so th th there is that need of globalization where there is that um, uh, need of exchange that is something that you are not you are not in fact you are not making it you know, in your country you can get it in another country that's why this globalization is now coming in globalization is now coming in uh look at for example uh, this is the K kfc the kfc and whatsoever you find that they are globally found everywhere uh, on earth if you look at if you think of uh, uh, McDonald. McDonald again is found worldwide. That's why we have that one. That, that, those are the global markets because whatever they uh, produce is being sold or being found globally. Now, why do we? Why do you think that globalization is important? Let's look at the importance of globalization. Is globalization having any importance? How do you define this globalization? Let's see. Is globalization having any importance? So the importance of globalization. So importance. importance of globalization we'll be looking at this globalization in several areas and then the fact that we're looking at uh, globalization it has got several importance in other words benefits of globalization the first one is that globalization will reduce um, marketing costs marketing costs globalization will reduce marketing marketing costs how does this globalization reduces marketing costs? Think of companies that sell global products. They can reduce costs by uh, standardizing certain marketing activities. In other words, you know, they can reduce costs. The fact that we are looking at this globalization of market. No, they, they can sometimes they reduce costs so that they want things to their thing is to be sold to be known very easily. That's why we say that they are there to standardize certain marketing activities. Think of a country countries that they have they have got to, like nowadays we have got plenty of these vehicles that are manufactured in Japan. The fact that they are plenty, they are just plenty. There are, there, are, there are so many that again serves the purpose of reduction of marketing costs. So marketing costs again, this marketing cost is being uh, reduced because of competition. Because if you find someone in the United Kingdom is bringing uh, is, is manufacturing cars, someone in Japan is manufacturing cars. The, the fact that they are manufacturing cars, then there is that reduction of cost, reduction of marketing cost as number one. The second advantage of globalization is just 
creation of new markets creation of Oh, okay. Creation of new market opportunities. Creation of new market opportunities. No, we are looking at globalization. Creating new market opportunities. Someone I mean you have got several markets. But now you discover that because maybe um, find a lot of markets are being they are being introduced outside. And the fact that a lot of markets are produced, uh, they are produced outside. You will discover that uh, they have uh, that advantage uh, where now products can easily be accessed. So looking at creation of new market opportunities, creation of new market opportunities. Like now, people in China, you find them that they are in Malawi. People from Malawi find them that they are in Japan seeking for employment or creation of new opportunities. They want to start the new market opportunities. That's an advantage of globalization. So, apart from reduction of marketing costs, globalization again, it is very, very important to create new marketing opportunities. Creation of new market opportunities. Another advantage, another advantage or importance of globalization is uh, to create uh, job opportunities. There is that creation, apart from creation of new market opportunities, again there is creation of job opportunities again. So we are looking at that, the fact that a lot of markets are they are being manufactured, they are being introduced out in there. Where it again is being uh, introduced and people, employment problem is being lessened. A lot of people are being employed because of globalization. A lot of, they are being produced because of globalization. Now, we have, we, have, we, have looked at, we have looked at this uh, as globalization and importance of globalization. Actually, we have talked about three of them. One, we are looking at reduction of marketing costs. We are looking at creation of new job opportunities. And we are looking at it about, uh, new market opportunities. And again, we are looking at uh, this uh, job creation. The fact that we are looking at globalization, there must be job creation or local needs, um, lo lo local needs, uh, people who need that because of globalization will say, no, I think let's use that, let's buy this product because it's found outside. Then we we'll look at uh, another issue where now we can talk of uh, the way globalization, globalization of products. So we we'll look at globalization of products. By the way, we are looking at globalization. What comes in your head when you talk about globalization? What comes to your head when you talk about globalization? Things that are globalization is hard work. Uh huh. Something that is done for work. Mm hmm. It's a local way of doing it. Uh huh. Hmm. Do you see an advantage of globalization? Do you see globalization playing a part in the creation of new job opportunities, creation of market opportunities? Yeah, yeah. Mm -hmm. it, it, it does. Mm -hmm. <laughs>
right? At least the, the, you are, 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 what is explained. That's very true because when we talk about this globalization, we are looking at it in terms of that now globalization is something which is to do worldwide. Now let's look at this issue of uh, again globalization of production. Uh, having known globalization and we have looked at globalization of markets, now let's look at globalization of pro production. So to, to our globalization of production, we are looking at those activities that can uh, that can enhance globalization. Globalization. Those uh, uh, pro uh, production activities that enhance uh, that are found in, uh, that can enhance globalization. In other ways, this globalization we are looking at the dispersal of, of product production activities to uh, locations of which companies can be can, can, can companies they can can can, can start uh, 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 achieve so that uh, the we have the cost. In other words, the cost maximization is being achieved. So we're looking at that as a globalization of uh, production. So you will, just, you will notice that globalization of production, we talk about globalization of production, we are looking at that products now, they are being manufactured globally. They are being manufactured outside. They are there. They are produced there, they are produced. So these, pro, uh, these products, the fact that other products are produced in South Africa, others in, we call that that's as a globalization of production. Now, let's uh, find out the benefit that companies may get from the production of, globalization of production. What are the benefits that companies can get from the globalization of production? The first one is the access. Um, it has an access in lowering cost workers. Access lower cost workers. Globalization production. Access low cost workers. Access low cost workers. That's one advantage of globalization of uh, globalization of production. Access low cost workers. What does that mean? Access low cost work, uh, workers. Uh, to have workers required for that to do the task, they need more friends. Uh -huh, have workers. In other ways, what we are looking at is to allow companies to reduce overall production costs through at least having workers of which those workers can uh, we can access them through low cost. So I look at workers being accessed by low cost. So we call that one as the uh, globalization production. So globalization production, in other words, for production to happen, you need to access to access because if we there is no if there was no production, accessing of uh, low cost workers wouldn't have been there. And another one is the access of technical expertise. Access of technical ex expertise. The fact that you are looking at the globalization, right? You can you, you can access low access technical expertise. How do you access technical expertise? I assume, let's give let's put this as an example. I assume you are here in Malawi and you have got your own company here. For you to, to achieve something which is the best out of all, you need to hire people who are the technical, who they know what you, you or they know exactly um, more than yourself. So when you are doing that one, you are trying to at least access technical expertise. Not all workers that 
are within your reach can be they can know the work very very well the, another way of doing it why can't you access it outside so that you, once you access it you can see at least a very great improvement out of it so there is that access of technical expert another area so i've got access of technical experts access of technical experts Another, the third one is to do with the access of production inputs access of production inputs Let's look at these three here. Globalization production. The fact that you are looking at the production itself, which is globally, worldwide, it has an advantage of accessing of uh, production input. Accessing of production input. In other words, materials. Well, that can be used in your uh, in your uh, company or in your organization. We are looking at that accessing of production input. Accessing of production input. So the first one we have seen that globalization again is of production is very important because we are looking at globalization of production in companies. And it has advantages of why we are looking at accessing low cost workers, accessing of technical expertise and access of accessing of production input. Accessing of production input. Then, having known this, having reached this point, you should be able to, one, define what is globalization. If I ask you what is globalization, explain globalization, make sure that you should be able to define globalization. And again, you should be able to explain the significance of globalization of markets for international business. And the last one, you should be able, uh, at least, should be able to answer some questions like, how might a company benefit from the technological of production or globalization of production? You should be able to know that. Then. We have seen globalization. We have defined globalization. There we have again seen that globalization is very important. That again, having known only that, is where now we are looking at now the importance of globalization of markets and the importance of globalization of production. So, importance of production of markets and production of globalization of production. Now, let's look at another area and this one is the, the force driving globalization force driving globalization what is the force driving globalization now we are looking at the force driving globalization Force driving globalization. If we are looking at that, the force driving globalization, we are looking at what are the, the what are the things that can enhance globalization to be so fast? For globalization to be well known, how can you do it? For globalization to happen, how can you make it? How, how what for globalization to do it? For it to be effective, how do you promote it? So those are what are called force driving globalization. We have got the two main uh, force driving globalization. Two major ones. We have got two major ones. Uh, 
The first one will be looking at the falling barrier to trade and investment. The falling barrier to trade and investment. Now, we talk about for force driving globalization, and we are talking about falling barriers to trade and investment. We are looking at now formation of uh, trade agreements. Formation of trade agreements. For globalization to work well, there must be trade agreements. And one of these trade agreements is the one that was found by that, uh, which got long time. And today we have another one which is known as, apart from, from the formation of that, again we have got formation of WTO, which is World Trade Organization. These two, GATT and World Trade Organization, were formed so that uh, trade is being enhanced, trade is being promoted. So, promotion of trade depends on either GATT and um, and the World Trade Organization. GATT is General Agreement on Trade and Tariff. GATT, Convention of GATT. GATT, GATT is General Agreement, Agreement on Trade and Tariff. World WTO is World Trade Organization. Force trade Organization. In other words, the formation of these two made globalization to be so fast. Countries had to know globalization much better because of the formation of GATT and the formation of WTO. We we'll look at this. This is two guard and they have the video. Look at them. And they the second one at all about this the, of the first force, which is the falling barriers to trade investment, of which uh, we are looking at the formation of GATT in 1947. Uh, and the formation of WTO long time long time again so the next element is about technological innovation force global globalization technological we have technological innovation When we talk about technological innovation, we are looking at, we are simply looking at the way technology has applied to today's world. Like, we are looking at emails and video conferencing. We are looking at formation of emails and emails and video conferencing. So technology is again another important element that is again very, very useful in driving uh, globalization as a driving force. So like the formation of, uh, we talk about technological innovation, we'll be, we are looking at email and video conferencing, we'll be looking at internet and all the web, we are looking at the concept of intranets and extranets and then we are looking at advancement of transportation technologies. Advancement and technological. Uh. Now let's look at another area where now we are looking at the very same globalization but in another context now. In another context. So this context one, we are looking at the way globalization and the income inequality, inequality, income inequality, globalization and income inequality.
Let's look at that before we provide, before we start to look at uh, globalization and income inequality. Do you have questions or you have an observation about this globalization? Do you see globalization, especially globalization of production, of production uh, working in the country that you are in? Maybe it has already have the country. Uh-huh. For countries to be countries, I think for like production uh Brazilian production, you find what you are producing another country is not producing there is an access of access of right costs of workers are looking at taking for export and then the production. Now let's go to globalization and the income inequality. Globalization and income inequality. You see countries cannot, they can't have the very same, the way Malawi and you compare Malawi to UK, we can't be in the very same area, Malawi and UK. Simply because uh, we are, well, at least in, in Malawi, it is regarded as one of the poorest countries. Now, the fact that we are looking at Malawi, and income inequality. The way we get, the way we, our, 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 um, our economy, because you look at our Malawi's economy and the United States economy, we are totally different. So, when we talk about globalization and income inequality, we are not the same. We are not in the same uh, range. We are differently. That's why um, there is that inequality. Again, there is inequality between nations. The way Malawi the, and South Africa, they can be an inequality. There is that of in, uh, inequality within nations and inequality between nations. And then we have another one which is global inequality. In global inequality, we are looking at now as the third one. Apart from the first one, we have looked at inequality within nations, and then we have got inequality between nations. It's quite different. When we say inequality within nations, we are looking at that within the nation, there are these differences that is not the same. Malawi and United States. And inequality between nations, we can't compare several countries. And again, we have got global inequality. That we are not the same. We are not, I mean, if you look at Malawi and the other countries, we are not within the very same range. We are quite different. That again is bringing another area that Malawi and other countries, we are totally different. Right. We are totally different. So, actually, this is bringing to another level that international trade is being influenced by is being influenced by other areas such, such as environmental political social up to everything that's why we are looking at now world of globalization world of globalization the fact that we are looking at it globally the whole world so if you discover that what Malawi has, you, you will not find it in other countries. So there is that need of sharing and the countries uh, should at least excel. That's the, the issue behind it. But the way the globalization actually, it, it, is some, it is something which is very nice because we are looking at uh, the production of uh, production of uh, markets. I mean, we have got markets, production of materials, and the way they are being distributed worldwide. The way they are being distributed worldwide. If you have questions, you have, maybe you have an observation, question, or whatever.